Hi, I'm Robin Locke. Um, I'm an Ospreys in the Community Trustee. Um, I also play rugby for Wales um, and work full-time with Freedom Leisure as the Swansea uh, Active Communities Manager. I've, I've known no different. So um, obviously as a student I had more um, I guess disposable time on my hands so I could really concentrate on rugby but I've known no different. I've always known the expectation is to play rugby, work, try and run a business, have a social life, um, have downtime and relax as well as then recovering ready to be the best athlete I can be. Um, but like I've said I've that's just the, the expectation for women in the game. You have to juggle, you know. Um, I've got I've got a mortgage. I've got things that I need to pay for. Um, I've got people that rely on me. So I, I need to work to bring in that income. And, and unfortunately for women, it's not through the support they love. Um, so I guess for me, what stops me giving up playing rugby is that the teammates and the people that I meet within rugby, but also um, just making sure that when I do go to training, yes, I'm working really hard, but I also know that the, the root of everything I do is because I love it and it's fun. And that's, I guess, that's what keeps me going when I haven't got much money in my bank account to pay for a petrol tank to get me to club training, or um, I need to buy a new gum shield and I've re I can't really finance it, but I go, if I don't have a gum shield, I can't play rugby, and I love playing rugby. So I guess that's what motivates me. Well, I think from a from a girl from a girl's point, if you can't see it, how can you dream to be it? So if you don't know that there are rugby clubs out there that have a girl's side, um, and you don't see women playing on TV, how can you ever think about being it one day? So I think you know it's it's really important, and also it's the whole men can play rugby, men are good enough to be on the TV, so are women, and so then young girls when they're growing up, the same as a boy might look up to. The Justin Tipperick's of the world, um, a young girl can also look up to the girls that are playing for their country as well. Rugby gives you a baseline of fundamental skills, catching, kicking, body management, um, decision making, like the ability to um, learn to lose um, and how to win graciously, gracefully, how to win gracefully, <laughs> um, but also I think as a sport, especially from a woman's point of view, any body shape can play rugby. There's a place for every type of body shape on a rugby field, which I think like inadvertently like promotes body confidence and body positivity on a rugby field. Amazing. I think so I, uh, my journey into rugby and the fact that I had to take some time out of rugby due to medical reasons and then kind of fought to come, had a, had a bit of a fight to come back into it and um, being able to win my first cap, which I'd always dreamt of, alongside girls that I'd played rugby with since I started, um, was amazing. And I feel very fortunate that I've been able to do that. I know people dream of a first cap and sometimes don't get it. So very lucky, but also very grateful. Just do it. So don't worry about what you think other people will think about you. I think if I could give myself advice five years ago, it would be stop worrying about what people think about if you can't pass or oh, what if I'm too small to play rugby or what if I'm too slow to play rugby or, or you know, all those little things that come into your head where you doubt yourself um, and you become like your own saboteur like just don't listen to it just go for it um, and just make sure that everything you do you are just always having so much fun you know make make friends with your teammates they'll be the best people that you'll ever meet they put their body on the line for you every week so you, you're gonna have the best time